Leo, hello, welcome to your September 2020 reading. For all of you that had birthdays in the month of, or in the season of Leo, happy birthday. For the, some of you at the time this video come out might still catch your birthday. Um, yeah, might still. <laughs> but for all of you already had your birthday, I hope you had a beautiful birthday and I hope that you have a beautiful year ahead of you, filled with beauty, filled with blessings, filled with light, filled with abundance, filled with prosperity, filled with success, filled with all those beautiful, beautiful things that make your heart smile, that makes your soul sing, that just unlocks your greatest potential in life, and so it is, okay? So this is your September 2020 reading, it's really time that we're putting September 2020 on for you. Um, if it's your first time to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Adrian. I'm an intuitive healer. I practice holistic wellness. If you're interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, there's a link in the description down below that speaks about that. And if you have, you know, if you're coming back, welcome back to my channel. Um, and I hope that you would, you know, if you're not subscribed, I would consider subscribing. And I just want to thank you for your love and your likes and your shares and your comments and for all those things. Okay. There's somebody drawing something somewhere at the back. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going to have to do your reading though. Um, so let's hope it doesn't get too noisy. Um, otherwise, I'll put in some earphones, which I don't like wearing. <laughs> but... Um, Let's see what we've got for you. So this is a general reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for Sign of Leo. Um, it's a general reading, so take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, you're more than welcome to order a personal reading with me. Um, also remember, if you're cross-watching, more than welcome to cross-watch. You might be very interested in the Sign of Leo. I mean, they are pets and I don't. But just don't let the cross-watching trip you, trip you up, okay? Um... Okay, so I'm going to do this reading for this month a little bit differently to how I normally do them. So what I want to ask you is that, you know, we all have that sort of question in our heart and in our sort of in our mind and something sort of brought you to that to this reading, okay? Or let you look at um, tarot. And I want you to ask that question inside your mind. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw you a Angel Answers Oracle card for that. Um, I'm going to bolt on that to get some information on that with the tarot reading. We're going to see what energy we can focus on, you know, to either bolt on that, to get you out of that, whatever is coming out. I don't know what's going to come out. Um, sometimes people say to me, especially when I used to, you know, do a lot of readings at Holistic Fairs. So, so what are you going to tell me? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know that is why it's called a reading. Um, but anyway, we're going to do that with a good tarot. And then we're going to wrap it up for you with an oracle card. So it's a whole story that runs through so if you want to get the full benefit of the reading then you have to watch it from beginning to end okay let's see asking your question inside your mind let's see what we've got for you leos make you roll what do we have for leo what do we have for a sign of leo please hmm. You're being stubborn, you're being stubborn, you're being stubborn. Let's take a nice breather. Let's center ourselves and let's see what we get. I'm gonna take this time, it's okay. All right, lovely. It was worth waiting for. It says helpful people, helpful people. It was definitely worth waiting for. All right, let's see what we've got on those lines. For those of you that's been following my channel for a while, you would remember that my neighbors were renovating and I think they may be just fixing something up there. But there was this incessant drilling that was going on for months. It was driving me insane. And it was starting to sound something like that. But I'm pretty sure it's going to pass in a minute. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to draw the cards while that is going on, okay? So I'll just silently draw them. If being silent is a possibility for me because I love speaking so much. Oh. Okay. Overall energy for your reading. Hmm. The lovers. Blah, blah. 
All right, let me show you your card. So overall energy for the reading is the lovers. Um, current situation, eight of pentacles crossed by the king of wands. And then energy above you is the queen of pentacles. What brought you to where you currently are, the judgment card. Many of you have got really, you got clarity. There's a lot of that happening over here. You got clarity on certain situations. Um, yeah. I feel that some of you, there were certain things that you didn't actually want to see. It's not like you didn't see them, but, you know, you... Like typically Leo, you've got that sort of gentleness inside your heart that sometimes everybody doesn't get. Um... And you wanted things to be better, you wanted things to be balanced, but you also reach a point where you realize that, okay, this is what's working and this is what needs to go. All right. Seven of Swords there in your foundation, again, where you're focusing your energy. Um, and then with the King of Wands, it's obviously, as we had earlier on, crossing the, you know, the, the Eight of Pentacles. Going forward, the Eight of Wands. For some of you, for many of you, you're finally getting some rest inside your soul. You are tired you had it you were tired okay um you tried your best couldn't anymore had to let go it was either that or you were going to go to an asylum you you just couldn't all right and um attracting very helpful people there the angels are placing very helpful people on your path to assist you because for many of you it's quite difficult three of pentacles in reverse um page of pentacles knight of pentacles knight of cups sorry and the potential outcome for the reading is the justice card so things may be a little bit wild for you at the moment you know it's, it's kind of funky but um it it's So first of all, when it comes to love, and especially also the relationship that you have with yourself now, I will explain to you why you are going into a good energy with love, all right? The potential of love. is because a lot of times when you speak with the lover's card, which is your overall energy of the reading, people go like, you got the lovers, you're going to find love, you know, it's twin flame, yeah, 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 kumbaya. But what it really is, the, the real twin flame energy is about the relationship that you have with yourself. All right, the relationship between your heart and sort of like your mind, um, the divine male, the logic side, the sun side, that Leo energy that just came, you know, from, and um, the divine feminine side, the heart, which is more the moon energy, which is more like a earth, sort of earth sign, you know, um, water sign sort of energy, which is obviously where we're going at the moment with, um, you know, going into the beautiful earth energy of Virgo, um, and. You're finding that balance that was sort of off there. And because you're finding that balance within yourself, you are aligned to a different energy. You are radiating a different energy. And that is why the love situations improve, why the twin flame love comes about. It's never really the other person. They're just a beautiful mirror reflection of where you are. And you are at the beautiful space. Okay. You're very focused on work at the moment, self, working on yourself, establishing yourself, you know. Um, for some of you, you kind of felt like a feather that was floating around on water there for a while. And now you're like, oh my goodness, it's going to rain. This feather's going to get wet. I'm going to sink. What is going to happen? Will I ever be able to get up from this? So a lot of you... Um, don't get mad at me, but a lot of you are really believing in yourself right now. You know, you have before, but there was still that little bit of self-doubt. There was almost that sense of perfectionism. But for many of you, that sense of perfectionism, um, it came more from what other people might be thinking. You know, what how, how they might be looking at you, what their opinion might be. And for you now, when you look into the mirror, I feel that for many of you, it's more important... Um, the opinion that you have about yourself, which is top notch. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. In my heart, I support it all the way. Okay. With the seven of swords here in your foundation. Yeah. You there's certain things that you already left behind, there's certain friends that you left behind. There's certain people that you left behind because with judgment there in your recent past, it's sort of like you got some clarity on things and it might have been just a passing sort of incident or something. But you realize that I feel that for many of you you were sort of sacrificing um who you are in a situation, um, you know, to sort of keep the peace and you're like, I'm not gonna do that anymore. And that sort of took things to a whole new level. All right. 
um, Queen of Pentacles there above you, it aligned you so beautifully with the flow, with the energy of abundance, with money, with prosperity, because you opened your heart to it, you know, while she might have been trying to do this whole thing of like keeping the peace and all those type of things, you actually um also what held yourself from the flow of abundance because you weren't 100 percent yourself then when we aren't 100 percent ourselves we can't be aligned with the flow of abundance because you know you're not really you um it's like abundance is looking for you with a flashlight and the light goes like you know leo 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 where you at and you're like abundance 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 but you're not hearing each other okay um that is definitely there's there's a calmness coming into your soul um a restlessness which is going okay Many of you haven't been able to sleep, maybe for years, really. You are about to start sleeping like babies, <laughs> okay? Um, with the Three of Pentacles there in reverse. Um, yeah. You're still trying to salvage some new situation, some old situation, but also some of you are realizing that it's gone. 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 You've got to let it go. And that in itself, it almost feels to me like certain, like, ties or attachments they sort of played out and you realize that it's time to move on so you're just kind of getting silent and moving on moving forward quite boldly you know really really boldly follow leading with the heart nice leading with the heart the true sort of zodiac leader there really you know leader of the pack doing that simba vibe you know simba the lion from the lion king um coming into your energy coming to your own and with the justice card the things are balancing things are evening out for many of you for the first time in a long time things are evening out both these cards wanted to come out who are they so this is for the lovers this is for your overall energy and you've got the queen of earth and the messenger of water mm. Those, those, those energies. Remember, we're speaking about the Earth energy and the water energy. So, water, Cancer, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That sort of like a more humble energy, but also I feel for many of you, it's just a more sort of honest energy. You know, um, you kind of seeing things for what they are, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, I'm not really gonna punish myself for that any longer. I'm not going to try to explain. I'm just going to accept that energy and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of namaste. I'm going to be like, you know, namaste, nama what, what, whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look at your, yep, 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 yep. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh girl, oh girl, oh girl. <laughs> So current energy, the Eight of Pentacles there with the hand man. You are you're you're giving yourself a break. You are really giving yourself a break. Many of you, again, haven't been giving yourself a break for years. You you've been trying to stay in the winning line, in the winning streak, doing it right, not giving offense, and you're like, whatever. You know, you're like, whatever. Um but I also feel that even though you're going in that sort of whatever space, it's a very, um, it's a positive detachment, you know, it's not like a madness. It's actually quite respectful, honoring the self, honoring the other. Following over there, the king of wands and the two of air. Again, you needed to let go of certain ties, certain people, certain connections. And for many of you, it came as a bit of a shock because you didn't really think that you'd have to do that. But then you got clarity that it was time. You're like, oh, well, this is quite sad. I would have preferred not to do it, but it's time. Okay. Um, Seven of Swords and the Messenger. Also, many of you, you're very afraid to fail. You know, you didn't want to fail. And because of that, it also sort of would help, you know, kept you back from taking chances sometimes. And you're leaving that behind, which is amazing, actually, you know, because in order to win, in order to move forward, we, um, it's a bit of the contradiction of life, you know, um, bit of a dictum of life, really, that you have to be willing to maybe be wrong in order to be able to be right. Okay, and you're getting that. Um, Seven of Swords, Messenger of Earth started to look at your own pocket okay some of you were spending money giving money giving stuff giving 
give time to, but, you know, like you were getting to realize that I could do something for myself in this time. You know, there's a lot of self-employment coming out here, self-empowerment coming out here. How was I sort of dishonoring myself before and sort of, you know, rebalancing, rectifying that situation? It's beautiful stuff. The Judgment Card. This is the recent energy that brought you to where you are now with the Page of Water. You had some sort of epiphany there. This is one of those readings that is kind of like the same thing that's repeating itself over and over, but maybe that's necessary. But it's like you had this epiphany, this realization, and you were like, huh, I was dishonoring myself there. I wasn't respecting myself there. Hmm, not going to do that anymore. Not going to do that anymore. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Above you. Energy above you. Shining down on you. Beautifully Queen of Pentacles with a messenger of air. You realize your worth going for you. Putting yourself number one. Hashtag Leo. Queen of Wands. Sorry, Eight of Wands clarified by the Four of Water. Going forward. You are taking risks that you haven't taken before. And it makes you feel very good. I want to draw you one more card for that. Mm, 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 mm. King of uh. Those risks are paying off. One more card, what's at the bottom? Five of fire, emotions. You're already halfway there by that new way of thinking. Okay, let's clarify this last cards for you. Right. The three of pentacles in reverse and the chariot. This is what we spoke about earlier on. Where you realize that you kind of hope that things weren't maybe in a certain way, but you realize that it's time to move forward. There is a powerful pull of life forward that is always sort of pulling us into our potential that reminds us that life is an ongoing process, that life is something that, that has the potential to ever unfold beautifully, you know. Um, there's that sort of flow going on there and it's reminding you of that and it's really, really beautiful. It's like even if you don't see there's great potential here and you can feel it and you want to give yourself that chance, you know, especially if before you would be like, oh, no, nah. now you're like, no, let's let's go see this. Let's go look at this. Let's go have a look. OK, page of Pentacles with the tower. Starting over new beginnings, out with the old and in with the new. You realize that it's time. It's time. In fact, it's kind of overdue. OK. It's actually overdue. You see how you've been holding yourself back. Growth. It's overdue. You, you're getting it. Okay. And Knight of Cups there with the Ace of Earth. You're getting a beautiful helping hand there from the universe. This energy, this this moving forward, this this positive moving forward, this this sort of focusing on the self. Um, it's opening new doors for you. It's opening new doors for for money, for prosperity, for abundance, helpful people. It's opening new doors. All right. It's almost like life is saying, and the universe is saying, like at last, at last. You know, it, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. And with justice here, where you're going forward, it's showing to you the ways that you were holding you back. And I love this because you are forgiving yourself for the ways in which you sort of kept yourself in bondage there. Okay. Right. Let's see how this all ties up for you with an oracle call. It's almost like that little bit of banging in the in the back of life that was there. You're like, okay, there's still a little bit of banging there, but it's not the way that it used to be before. So it's actually getting better, you know, and I can be okay with it. I can live through that. I'll be over soon, I think. How dare they, Leo? How dare they? How dare they? All right, we're almost done. So I'm sorry about that. We're almost done. And um, it's an Oracle card. Everything ties in for you. A breakthrough is at hand. Breakthrough is at hand. Okay. 
Thank you so much for your time, energy, love and light. So helpful people coming through and a breakthrough is at hand. That's quite amazing. All right. I love that so much. It's always about giving yourself a chance. And if you give yourself a chance, then life works with you. All right. Um, so if you, if that resonates with you, you're more than welcome to like the video, leave me a comment. You're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, there's a link down below. Remember, I've got a reading for you every week with the cards itself. Sometimes there's weekend readings. It depends on my schedule. And um, if you're interested in any sort of social media work, if you look at my beautiful thumbnails, those are my best friend who's a graphic designer and social media manager. There's a link in the description down below for it. says AC Digital Marketing Solutions. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful September. To me, September's are always about new beginnings. So I hope that you have a beautiful September. Namaste. Love and light.